huge interest in volleyball because my Aunt Laura played volleyball years and years ago. Um, and I just idolized her. So we spent a lot of time playing in the backyard and that was really where my start began. First and foremost, she was a very hard worker. Um, she worked tremendously hard at everything she did um, with plays, with learning something new. She was always the first and last at practice. When she started playing, she really embraced the work ethic that was needed to become a very uh, a very talented player. She would come in and, and do all the footwork drills and she put in the reps that were necessary. She played club volleyball. Her attitude was always great uh, to work through the challenges of becoming a better player. I would, I got into a bad habit of saying sorry after I set the ball every single time. So he had to he had to make a rule that I was not allowed to say sorry and he taught me to have a better attitude, to be more competitive and how to win volleyball games. Stacy was a unique player, um, authentic to herself always. She was an individual who's very humble, uh, although she's a fantastic um, leader, she was even a better athlete and you wouldn't know it by talking to her uh, in the hallways or you know if you saw her outside of school. She's a very humble player. And I was just shocked, shocked my freshman year to make varsity. It was like beyond anything that I could imagine. And she was the quarterback on the court of the team. Um, you know, we were all, we were a very close team on and off the court. I was in Fruitport our fifth grade year and then I moved to Alabama and I played you know volleyball softball tennis in Alabama there was rumors about her being you know worried about this undefeated um, setter from Alabama coming and I was gonna steal her spot a friend of mine who I played all the way up with Lisa Wilson also grew up we grew up playing backyard volleyball together and we were playing Spring Lake at Districts our junior year and just being so used to the backyard volleyball. She called it out, she, a ball went out of bounds, she called it out, but um, then she just caught the ball, which is how we did it when we were outside because we didn't want to chase it halfway across the yard. <laughs> Sophomore year, we started to have more success I think our team sophomore year got up to 14th in the state. We, we you know, started to get some more wins. And um, junior year, we were rolling pretty good. Um, that was the year that we played at the, at the tournament at Western. We played Portage Central. We beat Portage Central and got taken out by Portage Northern, but they were the number one team in the nation. So, um, so it was just such an amazing experience just to be able to see, just to be able to be in the gym with teams at that level. And I just always remember she kind of had this like back tip. Um, yeah, it, it was so smooth and, and casual almost. And when she did it, it was just, it was just, it, light, it just lights you up. You know, you want to play so much harder, so. When you have somebody like that, that you are a teammate, of, I mean, it makes you push yourself harder to do better and be a better player and be a better person. And she was a very genuinely sweet person, accepting of everybody. We weren't very good back then. So good athletes like her would stand out. And she was really one of the cornerstones that started Fruitport to becoming a very successful program. We had an epic battle at uh, Districts uh, her senior year and we lost to West Otto at the time and that was back when Fruitport was Class A. So there was a couple times, I mean we, we had a very successful campaign, we won tournaments, we went to uh, Kalamazoo and we played Comstock and Comstock won that year and 
if I remember right, we gave Comstock everything they wanted. They, I think we lost 15, 13, 16, 14 to the eventual Class B state champions, and Stacy led our team all the way, and, and in the district finals, she twisted her knee, I mean, and she still hobbled around and, and finished out the match, and it was a very close one with uh, West Ottawa, who was probably twice our size at the time. She was the first person to be awarded an All-State honor, and um, because of that, you know, we were conti we continued to be recognized as a as a powerhouse in volleyball, and we began to get better and better um, through her leadership. Um, kind of, she kind of set the tone for Fruitport volleyball. Her character, her her play on and off the court, you know, helped put Fruitport on the map, and we're really proud and appreciate what she did for us. It was a tipping point, you know, for the school. And it was, you know, as, as a school, as a, as a volleyball organization, it was neat to see how much change occurred. I mean, she was the person that everybody else wanted to emulate. When she became an All-Stater, you know, her, her picture was on the wall, and when you have a picture on the wall, it, it gives, you know, young girls a, an opportunity or a role model to emulate, and she was definitely the beginning of all that. There are so many, so many wonderful Fruitport volleyball players that have went after me, so I was just humbled and honored and thankful to be inducted. Um, Well, Stacy Schultz Lindale, it is an honor to introduce you tonight, Stacy. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, this is just such an amazing experience and um, just so honored to be here tonight. Um, honored and incredibly humbled because Fruitport has had so many amazing volleyball players. Um, I honestly never expected to be standing here right now. I would like to start just by thanking God for the ability to play volleyball, um, but for all the wonderful ways that he has shaped my life and, um, and off the court. I'd also like to thank the Hall of Fame Committee for my selection and for all the work that they put in creating, to creating the event. Thank you all so much. I want to thank my parents. You guys are so amazing with five kids. Um, I know at the time it took so much of what you did for granted, but as soon as we had kids, we realized it was no small feat what you did. And on behalf of me and all, all of us, all five of us kids, thank you for the wonderful job that you did. My Aunt Laura, she always let me uh, take along with her to practices and games, and she taught me the love of the sport early on. That was where it started for me. My husband, Paul, I don't think that there's many people that can thank their um, husband at a high school Hall of Fame speech, but um, Paul was our team's line judge, and he always provided a really great home for advantage. <laughs> oh, Dan's wife, Paula Potts, you shared so much of your family's time with the team over the years, and you were such a part of the team yourself. Um, just thank you for everything, for the generosity. Um, last, but certainly not least, Dan. I'm not sure I can say this well enough. The time that you put in, and the program that you built is amazing. Not only did you take a volleyball, a volleyball program with no history of winning, and turned it into a perennial powerhouse. But you took a shy freshman setter and turned her into a confident athlete who felt like she belonged on the court. Dan, you are directly responsible for teaching hundreds of young ladies to be outstanding athletes. 
and strong young women. And for that, we will just always be grateful to you. Uh, when I was a freshman, Dan was only three years into his tenure, and he was still working out the kinks. The memories I have of that year include players quitting, and as I said on the video, Dan having to make a special rule for me. Um, what a terrible attitude to say sorry every time you said them all. <laughs> and as many of, I, so many of you know, Dan is incredibly competitive, so I guess I'd like to say just one more time, sorry <laughs> for saying sorry. <laughs> uh, um, the rule worked and we moved on. We began to put a lot of time in in the gym, and by my sophomore year, we were getting things in order. We made huge improvements to our record, and we even won our first tournament. By the time I graduated, we were really good, but we were not ready to give the state tournament a run yet at all. Um, there were a few underclassmen, though, that were up and coming and amazing athletes. They took the reins and they ran with it, um, taking through Fort Volleyball to the next level. And two years after I graduated, I went to watch Fruitport play the infamous Marysville match in the state playoffs. Uh, that Fruitport team was just amazing. And even though they didn't win the state championship, I'll always believe that they were the best team that year. Um, this has just been so much fun to look back after all this time and to think about what volleyball has done for me. Volleyball is the first thing that I really went all in on and it taught me how to work hard and truly made me so much more than I was. So in closing, I need to mention just two more people, Hallie and Carter. Guys, I had the opportunity to enjoy many amazing things on the volleyball court, but you two are by far my biggest accomplishment. Thank you all so much. This has been such an incredible honor.